So now we need something um, to emit our fluid. And as I said before, um, those emitters will not work for our grid fluid. They, um, all the particles you're emitting from um, this, these types of emitters will not interact with, uh, with, with the grid. So um, in the grid there's something special because we only can emit from geometry. Um, so in real flow there are some geometry objects and we'll be creating some cubes. And before creating those cubes, um, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you that I've made my thoughts behind in creating those cubes. So first, we uh, need a cube that will be um, creating a main body of water. There, and cube. Realflow has some basic uh, geometry, and I'll be scaling this uh, using. Some ninety-eight. I'll say ninety-eight point ninety-eight point eight. Um, and thirty dot thirty-five. Uh, That's approximately what the cube is. I'll be positioning that uh, right behind the the rocks here, and this will be our main body of water. Uh, something like the kind of water you have, um, or maybe a main body of water. So. There should be water in the scene when we'll be starting that. We do not want one emitter that will be standing here, for example, and taking ages in order to fill up all the, the whole thing here. So we will be creating one big cube, and there will be water then. All right. Um, considering the position, maybe you should go press 2, go to sort view. And lower this thing a bit. Uh, probably something like minus O dot. Uh, yeah, that should do it. And I'll use the values from the magazine. All right. Now I can uh, copy that by clicking here. No, no, cannot click here. You can uh, press Control D for duplicate when selected. Yes, and there we have cube O2. This will be for emitting the wave, and I'll be positioning that first, or no, I'll be scaling that first. It has to be smaller. 2.51 and 6.38 and here I'll be scaling this to yeah virtually the same uh, I'll be positioning that right behind there right behind that okay Lower, I guess. Yeah. Something like this. Um, the th the system behind all this is that this small emitter here will pushing water very fast into the into this direction. There are there is still some some fluid some some fluid that's resting that's not moving, and by the push movement. Waves will be created. Waves will be created. There will be friction. They will use. They will be losing energy. There will be currents inside, and hopefully, this will work. That we will have a wave that's crashing in the water and pushing the the other water that that's still here, also into the same direction. That will we have nice waves here that are crashing against against the the rocks here or like the, the, the pier. And what we also need is some water that is uh, beyond the pier. 
because um, when you're shooting that from a helicopter, for example, and we uh, and this pier was just standing, not, was not standing in the water, and I really never saw a pier that was not standing in the water, uh, or was not supposed to stand in the water, probably because some, some tidal uh, stuff, but that's not the case here. Um, I want the whole pier to be standing in the water because, um, well, I'm a lazy guy. So um, if this was not standing in the water, I had to model uh, the, the beach and everything like this, and they have to have, and you have to take this into account when shading and stuff like. And I want to focus on on the water. Shading the water is not the easiest task at all. So um, if there's water everywhere, this makes it easier for us. Okay. We have to create the third cube for um, the one there. So we're going to be going back to a cube 01 and also control D in order to duplicate that. Wait a sec until Replifer has duplicated it. And now I'll be um, positioning that uh, to 11.18. And here to 0 0.82. Uh, zero is one. We still need to do some scaling on the object. For example, 50 2.9. Yeah, that should do it. That should, that should do the job. Probably a bit. Uh, give me top perspective. A bit smaller, probably, because we don't not need water where there is no no camera. All right. These are our three cubes, and we will be naming them so that we know what is. Uh, We'll be naming that so we know when we're opening the scene um, what is the sense of these geometry objects. So right click, replace. No, 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 not replace. Ah, sorry. Right click, rename. Emit mine water. Uh, well, this is well for for the rest so let's say emit rest water and I'll be calling this one emit wave now I'll be selecting those three right click group and I'll be renaming those one to Mission geometry, and I'll be deleting deleting this camera because uh, I have not set up a camera in my yet, and so I do not need this camera here. All right, and this is basically it. Next thing we need is. Um, Oh, we can still create a group here. Group. I call this group grid fluid. This is good. So all the elements that are taking part in the simulation, not the SD stuff, because I want to have this uh, outside of the group because it's not really part of fluid simulation. Everything this is p that's part of the, the fluid simulator will be in, in that group. This makes it uh, a bit easier for us to um, makes it a bit easier for us to distinguish between the, the elements. Um, all right. The next thing is we uh, still have no water in this scene. We have a strange three D coordinate grid. We have some some cubes. We have a pier and SD, we want water. So we have to create the emitters. In order to do so, just select the main water, go here, 
and then select emitter. No, no, no you're not here. Definitely not. Go to the grid flip menu, and there is emitter. So a grid fluid emitter node has been created in turn, and the object that you was select that you selected is uh, here in the object panel. You still could um, select another object when you click here, but we do not want that. Oh, it's losing its it's losing its uh, object. Emit main water. We will be renaming the emitter. And now we are going to select the um, rest water. Go there, create emitter. Right click, rename, rest. And there's the wave emitter. Rename. So now we are having three emitters, and um, we're having those three emitters linked with those three geometry obje geometry objects, and we'll be grouping those again. Group and um, name the group GF emitters. This group can go there. Fine. Emission geometry, and there are our meters. So, what are we going to do next? Uh, we are using the exclusive links I've been telling you before. Before, and um, so uh, select the grid fluid domain, not the images, the grid fluid domain, the big coordinate grid and drag and drop that into the exclusive links. Because all those three emitters are emitting into our grid fluid domain 01, we need to drag those under the grid fluid domain. You can use the individual emitter nodes, or you can also use the group. In this case, I was using the group because I think um, this will make um, things more clear. Uh, the next thing is that we um, have to set up the emitters. So, first, the wave emitter. Um, I said stream because uh, this is a continuous source of emission. It will always emit the whole time. So we have to say stream. Put some jittering on it and for example, a, oh, let's be evil, seat 666. 